Good afternoon. I'm on the extremely busy uh, Upper Newtonard Road, coming out of Belfast, heading to uh, Dundonald, and then through on to Newtonard. And this is Hollywood Arches down in the distance here, C.S. Lewis Square, of course. And I'm a great accumulator of uh, useless information. Just pan on round. And this is the main glider route out of the city, or one of the main glider routes out of the city. And from Hollywood Arches through to um, Dundonald, it's about three and a half miles. And there's an interesting fact about this whole strip of roadway. Yes, according to um, statistics released under the Freedom of Information Act uh, this week, is the most dug up road in the whole of Northern Ireland. And we're looking up to Ballyhackamore here. So, on average, on average, folks, this roadway is dug up somewhere along this three and a half mile stretch. This roadway is dug up, would you believe, once every three days. I mean, this is totally gobsmacking. Amazing. And I've moved on up the road here to uh, Ormiston Crescent. Yes, this road, over the last five years, this road, for lengthy spells, I have to add, this road has been dug up over the last five years 554 times. Now, whenever you total that out, or divide that up, this road has been dug up, on average, each year, somewhere along this three and a half mile stretch, 110 times or more. And this is a major artery. And and back there, uh, towards Valley Hagamore, I don't know if you remember, but two lanes out of the four lanes were incapacitated because there was a 20 foot uh, hole dug for a hundred yards down the middle of the road. Unbelievable the amount of digging up that this uh, road has experienced and understandably this has uh, created a great difficulty for the people, uh, the traders uh, who try and trade along this route. The car dealerships, the restaurants, the carryouts, the, um, the other shops because getting access is extremely difficult because of the roadworks and people avoid roadworks so they don't come into the area and well, people are understandably uh, annoyed at the number of times that the road has been dug up and of course uh, doing the school run becomes virtually impossible as well uh, because of roadworks. Well, I've just stopped off in front of Stormont Hotel and Stormont Parliament buildings here behind me. And coming up to four o'clock, this is an extremely busy uh, road. The nocturnal carriageway is down there. I'm just looking up. Here at Dyke. Hey, we have that memo. <laughs> and we've got uh, Stormont Par Parliament buildings uh, here. A brilliant place to come to, I have to add. Um, brilliant free tra uh, tour. And it's so well worth going to do that tour. But never mind that, I'm totally. I'm so easily distracted, I have to say. Uh, but. Why has this 
a particular stretch of road and I'm not going to go on into Dundonald which is down that way past the Ulster Hospital why has this road uh, suffered such um, you know continual roadworks and it's almost continual roadworks well there's a whole lot of reasons um, there's a replacement of old pipes burst pipes being repaired, upgrading, replacement of manhole covers, uh, rebuilding uh, footways and re-tarmacking and of course there's been getting uh, the entire road ready for the introduction of the glider. Um, but then we've also got a uh, clearing of blocked drains uh, as well which accounts for so much disruption and digging up so this if you are looking for uh, a roadway in Northern Ireland that is pole position in the statistics as regards uh, roadworks this is your number one It's not a, a, a statistic uh, and a place that uh, too, too many roads would uh, be wanting to have. Number one for roadworks in the whole of Northern Ireland. The Upper Newton Arch Road. <laughs> so uh, there you are. Read this in the Belfast. I have to, I have to say, I read this in the Belfast Telegraph this morning. And I said, I have to make a video on that. There you are now. Heading for home.